Hey, it's me, Riker. Today we're going to have a look at the brand new The Lost Sigils event. Now this is an exchange event. We need to collect one of the six sigils, being from the six factions, either Lightbearer, Mauler, Graveborn, Wilder, Celestial, or Hypergene sigils. Now you, you'll use these sigils in order to exchange for specific rewards. So in this case, you need five Graveborn and five Mauler sigils in order to exchange for these 30 primordial emblems. So let's have a look at the other rewards. So we can get amplifying emblems, red choice chests, variety choice gear, which we can pick any faction gear besides dimensional gear, fodder, so you can unlock your first mythic hero, so that you can unlock signature item and get your heroes all the way to 30 SI. Then we have T1 all the way to tier 4 upgrade tokens, so you can upgrade your gear. Then the next couple of rewards are engraving materials, either elemental shards or elemental cores, so you can get either 30 or 60 engravings on your heroes. Then we have reset scrolls, which I do not recommend getting as there are better rewards that you can get from this event. Then we have Po coins. If you would like to unlock your three or nine furniture on your respective heroes. Then we have a couple of Twisted Essence to increase your Elder Tree branch level. Followed by Dura's Fragments. So these are great rewards to go for if you're missing your five star call or five star eye. This will greatly increase your progress in campaign and arena as well. So let's have a look at the Celestial Hypogean roster. So, from the beginning, we can see we can get Zafrael, Halius, Mezoth, Mortis, and Wukong. So, out of these five, I would not recommend going for Wukong, as Wukong can be received from the Labyrinth store. However, out of these four above, I would either recommend going for Halius or Mortis, as they are used in a significant amount of events in the game and be a massive advantage to your account. Now, as we can see, these require a significant amount of sigils, so you would have to plan out the amount needed for those specific heroes. So, let's have a look at the four faction heroes that you can get. So, we can get Henrik, Peggy, Nimisu, so you can also get Drez, Laika, Golvo, Torn, or Tresnor. And the final reward is gold. So if you have any leftover shards, you can go for gold. So out of all these rewards, I would either recommend going for Dura's Fragments, Twisted Essence, Elemental Cores. However, the reward that you can get the most of in this event, a total of 200 signature item upgrades, is the Emblem Choice Chests. So how do we do this? Firstly, we begin battle. Now, when, once we begin battle, we click challenge. Now, as we can see here, each time we select a hero, we can get one sigil. So, when I chose Kren, he'll, if I win the battle, I will be able to get one Mauler fragment. So, if I put in a Graveborn, there we go, I can get one Graveborn sigil. So, basically, you just set up your teams. So I'm going to set up my team in a 3-2 uh, bonus where I can get 3 Graveborn and 2 Maulers. Alright, there we go. So once you win battle, these are the shards that you'll get. However, if you choose Dimensional Heroes, you'll get random assortment of shards once you win battle. So you might not get the specific shards that you want if you are going for a specific Celestial or Hypogean. So I highly recommend planning out your shots beforehand you do this event. So in the next battle that I'm going to do in order to keep an even amount of shots is I'm going to simply swap out one of my heroes. So I'm going to swap out my Grez for, for another Mauler. So as we can see here, a 3-2 bonus. So this will allow me to go for an item that I'm going for being signature item upgrade. 
There we go. And now we will claim victory. So now that you have claimed victory, you'll get those shards. So as we can see here, right at the end, we got these rewards. In addition, you also get battle experience. So as we can see here, as I did a 3-2 bonus, I was able to evenly match my Mauler and Graveborn sigils, which will allow me to easily buy all the necessary emblem choice chests that I need. So this battle experience will allow you to get these bonus rewards. These bonus rewards include stargazing cards, elemental shards, summoning scrolls, engraving materials, an emblem choice chest, and various other rewards to help you progress along the way. So as soon as you get more of this experience, you can simply collect all and get all of the great rewards.